We're counting down to the solar eclipse now just eight days away. A swath of the country is in the path of totality with millions of people traveling for that big event. But of course, there are precautions to take and Morgan Norwood is keeping an eye on that. This morning, with just eight days to go, the eclipse excitement I'm very excited. I can't wait. Is setting in. I've been super interested in space and the stars since I was a little kid. 31 million people live directly inside the path of totality, and many more are expected to travel to see the natural phenomenon for themselves. Nasmus Nasir and his family are traveling from Boston to Marble Falls, Texas to check it out. So this year, it'll be a much longer totality, and I'm, I'm just looking to experience more of it with my eyes. And even if you're outside of the path of totality, Totality, you'll still be able to see a partial eclipse. You'll just need the right gear and know your day-to-day -day sunglasses just won't do. So sunglasses aren't designed for looking at the sun. They're designed for protecting you from all the light that's reflected on a sunny day. You'll need these special eclipse glasses, which work by blocking out ultraviolet light from the sun and nearly all visible light. You can find them at most major retailers, and there's a chance your local library will be handing them out too. If you're able to score a pair, just make sure they're legit. The American Astronomical Society is warning of counterfeit and fake eclipse glasses. So what the American Astronomical Society's Solar Eclipse Task Force has been doing is actually working with the testing labs, making sure that we see the test results so that we have a list of manufacturers and retailers.